Welcome to State Television Company, Western Armenia, broadcast for today. The 14th issue of Western Armenia magazine has been published. CSI criticizes the apology of Olympic committees to Baku. Baku and Turkey have owned hundreds of Armenian aboriginal grape varieties, Avakaitunyan. The sons of Western Armenia, Gerard Kafeshjan. Baku destroyed the monument of Ashot Gulyan. Journalists from Azerbaijan made video the village of Girans from the surrendered territories. The great success of the French Riviera Armenian group. The new 14th issue of Western Armenian weekly newspaper has been published. The new issue includes a number of important and nowaday topics, including the meeting of the delegation of the Republic of Western Armenia with the director of the Museum Institute of the Genocide Against Armenians. 104th anniversary of the independence of Kilikia, Memorial Glory in Berzor, St. Ripsime Church in Khanatsakh, Endangered Cultural Heritage of Artsakh, Van Kassar. Opinion expressed by a Russian MP, Turkish TV series are complete garbage. You can read this and other articles in the new issue of the Western Armenian magazine. In the 14th issue of the Western Armenian weekly newspaper, you can get acquainted with the regular sessions of the Western Armenian National Assembly and the government, the speech of the Speaker of the Government of the Republic, as well as other culture and social topics. Armenian, English and French versions of the magazine in PDF format can be downloaded below. After the closing ceremony of the Paris Games today, John Einner, President of Christian Solidarity International, criticized the International Olympic Committee for providing political support to the organizers who initiated ethnic cleansing in Artsakh. In June, CSI launched a ban Azerbaijan campaign dedicated to the 2024 Paris Games. The campaign took place in response to the ethnic cleansing of the ancient Armenian Christian population of Artsakh, organized by Ilham Aliyev, the president of the National Olympic Committee of Azerbaijan and also the dictator of Azerbaijan in September of last year. Despite the public statement of the International Olympic Committee to ban Russia and Belarus national teams to participate in Paris National Games, related to Russia's invasion to Ukraine. The EOC did not take any action against Baku for the ethnic cleansing in Artsakh. David Mark Leon sent a letter to Azerbaijan Ministry of Sports and its National Olympic Committee apologizing on behalf of the France 2 TV presenter who referred to the fall of Artsakh during the entrance of the Armenian team. MacLeod assured Azerbaijan that clear instructions have been given to avoid similar expressions in the future. It is clear from this message that the IOC is using its influence to cover up the crimes of the Azeri regime in Artsakh, said Amber, and this is a shameful reflection of the IOC's true priorities. CSI will continue its campaign to bring to justice the architects of the genocide in Artsakh, the Armenians of Artsakh, the right to return to their homeland and live freely there, as well as for the freedom of Armenians still held hostages by Azerbaijan, such as Ruben Vartanian and David Babayan, promised Amber. Azerbaijan and Turkey have appropriated hundreds of varieties of Armenian grapes, according to the president of the National Wine Center, Avakaitunyan, the intensifying competition in the region further endangers Armenia's winemaking heritage. Turkey has been engaged in this process for about 40 years, registering more than a thousand Armenian varieties as Turkish. This is a huge challenge for Armenia and requires an effective state policy to preserve and protect the national wine culture. Businessman and philanthropist Gerard Kafesjan is the son of refugees who survived the genocide. Gerard Gafejan was born in 1925 in Brooklyn, New York. The parents immigrated to the United States during the 1915 genocide against the Armenians. Gafejan was a member of the Board of Trustees of the Museum of the Genocide Against the Armenians in Washington, and he made a significant donation to the museum and to the construction of the memorial to the victims of the genocide. In 1996, Gafejan founded the Gafejan Family Foundation. The most significant achievement of Gerard Gafejan's philanthropic activities, one of the cascade was renovated, where the Gafejan Art Center was opened in 2009. Hosting more than a million visitors a year, the museum named after its founder has become one of the most important cultural centers of the city. 
by exhibiting his private collection, Cafe Jan aimed to spread new light in the life of Armenians through art. Cafe Jan died in 2014 on September 15 in the USA. Baku continues to destroy the monuments of Artsakh, the period of independence. Gerhard Scientific Analytical Foundation informs about this. Another case of vandalism was in Stepanakert, in the park named after Hashot Gulyan. The information about the destruction of the bust of hero of Artsakh, Hashot Gulyan, was circulated through the Azerbaijan Telegram channel months ago, informs the foundation. Azerbaijani journalists visited territories handed over to Azerbaijan as a result of illegal border demarcation and made videos. In addition, they also made videos about the village of Kirans, which was informed about by Gohar Vartanyan, a resident of Kirans. Azerbaijani journalists took pictures of us and we took pictures of them, said she. The annual field dance organized by the French Riviera Armenian group Mandelio was a great success. More than 200 people had their participation in the event, including violist Grigor's solo dancer Maria from Marcel Artists of the Nice in France, dance group Nairi, and participants celebrating the 104th anniversary of the signing of the Treaty of Severus. Everyone assembled around the Hajkar in Mandelio to listen to the performance of our violist Grigor. Lord's Prayer, Our Father, was read by Jean Razarossian, president of the Association of French Veterans and Resistance Warriors of Armenian origin. The president of the National Council of Western Armenia, Mr. Armena Gabrahamian, together with the organizer of Armenian Circle of Mandelio Lanapol, reminded the reasons of this celebration and symbol of Hachkar, which is currently under threat of mass destruction by the fanatical authorities in Baku. The mayor of Mandelio Lanapol was represented by Mr. Georges Lorenzelli, deputy mayor, and Mr. Patrick Seals, community councillor. The mayor of Antibejuan Lesbine was represented by Colonel Gerald Lacoste. The president of the Armenian Circle of Mandelio Lanapol, Caroline Ohanesian, and all members thanked Magui Gevorkian. They thanked president of the Armenian Cultural Center of Nice and leader of the dance group Nairi of Nice, Vandini, president of the Kenneth Red Cross, Colonel Jean-Claude Bertout, president of the Legionaries of Cannes, Gerard Beru, president of the Union of Draginian Armenian, Jean-Claude Dupon, vice president of the Alps Maritimes UNC, Vrej Abrahamian, president of the National Association of Armenian Veteran Freedom Fighters and Supporters. Magui Gevorkian was awarded honorary citizenship of the Republic of Western Armenia by President Armena Abrahamian. Our Armenian compatriots who came from all over France and Great Britain as well as our French friends had a wonderful time enjoying home-cooked Armenian dishes as well as Armenian music and dances due to the wonderful group Nairi from Nice, who delighted us with their performance. Participants thoroughly enjoyed the day and are already looking forward to returning next year. Dear viewers, this was all for today. Goodbye.